Ciao. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my live stream. Uh, my name is Francis. Uh, this is Coco Share Francis, live on YouTube. So today I'm going to be making uh, blueberry scones. It's called scones in British English. And in the American English, it's called scones. So you can say scones or scones. It means same thing. So today I will show you how to make it from start to finish. And uh, I'll be showing you everything, how to make it. So stay put while I start. I'll be right back, please. Thank you. Hi, my friends, I'm back now. So we are live here on YouTube. Uh, this is Kuku Share Francis. Uh, so today I said I'm gonna be making blueberry scones. And um, I got my recipes with me. So basically we're using flour, milk, uh, lemon juice. We need uh, uh, buttermilk, so we're gonna make lemon juice. And, um, and mix it with milk to get our buttermilk. So we'll be using uh, brown sugar as well. Uh, we don't want to use the, um, the white one. You can use the white one if you want to, but I'll be using the brown sugar, the uh, unrefined brown sugar to make it. So I'll be grabbing my ingredient now. I'm back now. <laughs> There's no rush in cooking. It does need to take our time. So my scale, I need my scale to weigh my ingredients. And um, I'll set that aside. I also need my bowl. Of course, we need our bowl. We don't need... Um, um, the machine or any equipment like we do it by hand it's very easy so i also need because i'll be making the round shape of the blueberry scones or blueberry scones so i'll be making the round shape so basically what i'll be using i'll be using uh, uh, my ramekin i got my ramekin while it's raining out there it's raining, raining every day, rain, 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 rain. Uh, that's my ramekin. So I'm using my ramekin to cut out 
uh, the shape I need. So I'll set that aside. Yeah. That's my ramekin. Set that aside. And um, I need, um, let me grab my flour first. So of course, if you are baking, you know, as a pastry chef, you need your flour. You cannot work without the flour. You know what I mean? Like flour is the basic ingredient when you make a pastry. <laughs> so if you're not joining me, this is a cook with Chef Francis live on YouTube. So I said today I'll be making the blueberry scones. It's called scones in America, American English, and it's called scones in um, British English. So you could call it blueberry scones, America, uh, British and blueberry scones, American. So now I'll grab my flour. I'll be using the um, the white flour, the white plain flour. So let me grab my flour now. I'll write in my cupboard. That's my flour. So I'll be using the plain flour. I'll be using, I don't want to make too many quantities. What I'm making like for family of four or family of five. So I'll be making like four scones, round shape and tall. You know, scones are enjoyed in the UK. They love scones here. Use for afternoon tea. You know what I mean? Afternoon tea, like different stands of, uh, you got your scones, you got your bread, your sandwiches, and you got, you, you enjoy it with berries. When you make your scones, you eat them with berries, jam, like your strawberry jam, uh, clotted cream. You can use your clotted cream, strawberry jam, and berries to enjoy them. So, but today I'm, I'm going to be making my blueberry scones. Now I'll set my flour aside. I'm going to measure my flour, set aside. I need I need my unsalted butter. I'll set that aside. I need some uh, I need some sultanas. I'll set that aside. Just little quantity. We're making a small quantity today. We don't want to make something too big. So we can end up our live stream on time. So just little quantity of uh, of uh, raisins. I'll set that aside. Uh, I'll tell you the ingredients, the recipes, but I'm just setting them aside, bring them bit by bit for you to see. Uh, we don't want to be in a rush. So make sure you have your jotter, your pen, so that you can write down the ingredients and the recipes. You know what I mean? Write down the ingredients and recipes so that when I'm done, you can try yours and go ahead to make yours. So I'll... I got my milk in the fridge, so I'll leave it to chill in the fridge. I don't need it now. I got my lemon juice and my lime um, to use. I got my berries in the fridge. So I'll be telling you the recipes now. If you have your pen and your jotter, please, you can write down now. Because, uh, of course, we got so many types of scones or scones uh, all over the world. We got the cheese scones. We got the um, blueberry scones. We got the normal one, the normal plain scones, call it plain scones. <laughs> and uh, but today I'm making a blueberry one. Uh, we got the fruit scones. Yeah, we got the fruit one. You put your sultanas, your, your raisins. <laughs> so uh, today, as I said, I'll be making the, um, the blueberry one, the blueberry scones. So uh, what I need to do now is to weigh my ingredients. So basically, I'll be weighing my flour. So uh, my flour, uh, I'll be using, I don't want to use, uh, anyway, I don't want to use something too white. So I'm going to place it right on my scale. Um, I'll, I'll place my scale, my bowl on my scale. And I'm going to weigh my flour now. So uh, <laughs> I need a, I'm making a small quantity that I said earlier, so I'm going to be weighing uh, my flour, about uh, 125 grams of flour. This is going to be making a four or five quantity, depending on the shape, uh, depending on the size, how big you want it. So I'll be making four or five scones, but I believe four should be all right, maximum of five. And list of four, no more than no more than five, and no less than four. So between four and five, four or five scones is what I'm gonna make it. 
So I'll be making four or five stones now. So I'll wave my flower. I said that again. As I said, I need a flower one. 25 grams. I'm just gonna tie that. Yeah. 25. Come on, 25. Yes, 124. Yeah, that's 125. Yeah. So I'll set that aside. 125. We'll be using this for kneading when we are ready. We we'll need that for kneading. That's one to five grams of flour. I'll set that aside. Set it aside. So I'll grab my brown sugar now. I need brown sugar. So I'll take that from here. I just need a, let me grab my spoon. So basically I said, you could use, I have the white one, so you can use the, the, the normal um, white caster sugar, but um, I don't want to use that one now. So basically I'll be using the, the brown one. This is the only fine one, uh, is the cane sugar, only fine cane sugar, and it's very nice. So I'll be using that one. But the, uh, the the white caster sugar, you can use the white caster sugar if you want to, but I love the uh, unrefined brown sugar. So uh, pop that one straight. Uh, I could, I could uh, use my ramekin. Yeah. So I need just uh, 25 grams. We don't want too much of sugar. So, you know, Pounds. We just need 25 grams of unrefined sugar. But remember, I said you can use a white sugar if you want to. But I need 25 grams of that one, the brown one. That's 23. Yeah. That's 25. So I'll pop that one into the flour right in there. Set that one aside. Yeah, flour, sugar. Set that one aside. Then uh, I need a. Uh, I need. Yeah. I'm adjusting my camera so that you guys can see. You know what I mean? Like you see the ingredient very well. <laughs> yeah. That's all right now. So I've measured my flour. Uh, I got my flour, 125 grams of flour, and um, I got my uh, sugar for 25 grams. It's easy to remember. So I'll tell you the, the, the secret about it. Like, you know you know what I mean? I said it's like a food vlog. I don't, I don't uh, look at the book while I'm cooking. Like, I know the recipes. You can see I'm not with any recipe book or the jota around me. I got everything on my memory, so I can tell you the recipes. So they're right there in my memory, so I already know it. So I just take my bowl when I'm baking. I just take my bowl and start baking. I need to look at the recipes. So it's something you get used to if you, if you cook every day or you bake every day. It's easy for you to remember. You don't need to go check your recipe book. For imagine if you're in a food competition. Would you be doing that? You're not gonna be doing that. If you are told to make something and you, you know, <laughs> and you wanna win about fifty thousand pounds or something, and you run around, <laughs> you wanna get your recipes. If you don't know them and you're like looking at the book, you you're gonna be slow, is it? You cannot win. But if you know your recipes, your memory, you're gonna be quick to to remember and get what you want. If you know you need five hundred grams of flour, you go grab it. You need. <laughs> or it comes of unsalted butter, you know what I mean. But if you don't have your recipes in your memory, like, oh, what's going on? I don't even know what I'm doing. And you get confused and you're not going to win. But if you know what you're doing, you're going to be quick and easier, you know, to remember and make things done quickly, faster, 
and get a very good result. And that's it. So now we'll be, we'll be starting now. So I said my flower is in there, one to five grams of flour. I'm using the white flour, the white plain flour, one to five grams. And I got my only five grams sugar and I put that in. It's right in there. <laughs> so what next? I'll weigh my butter now. So um, uh, let me get, let me grab another baby bowl for my butter. So um, I want to weigh my butter now. You know what I need? I just need butter of um, 50 grams. You need more butter. So 50 grams of butter. Uh, I've, got, I've got 25 grams of concentrated butter here. So I'm going to weigh 50 grams of butter right on my scale. grams I'll tie that set it at zero that's 34 53 51, that's all right. 51, that's 50. 51, 50, same thing, doesn't matter. Just a slight difference. So, that's my butter. I'll set that aside. Set that aside. So now, um, I've weighed my butter. What else do I need to weigh? Uh, I got my. We don't need to weigh this. Just our sultanas. I got little left. So just a little sultana left. Like a handful of sultanas or raisins. We don't need too much. Just a handful. So, yeah. I need to buy another one. That's the last one. I need to shop to make them to buy another sultanas. So it's just a handful of sultanas, a handful, that's it, a handful of sultanas. So we're using that uh, sultanas for our blueberry scones. Um, next, we will be using um, blueberries and I'll be adding milk as well and um, lemon juice milk lemon blueberries i need this we need added sugar for dusting i'll grab my added sugar um added sugar Uh, all right, that's it. So now, uh, I'll get my measuring jug. So uh, this is my measuring jug. Yeah, that's my measuring jug. So um, I'm going to weigh my uh, milk you know i need uh, 50 mils of milk so remember uh, the milk is 50 mils and your butter is 50 mils you use same same amount of milk and butter if your butter is 100 grams your milk should be 100 grams so if your butter is 50 grams 
<laughs> your milk should be 50 grams. So my butter is 50 grams, and my milk will be what 50 grams, or you say 50 milliliters, milliliters or 50 mils. So I'll be using 50 milliliters or 50 grams of milk. Or I'm using the British semi-skimmed skimmed milk, the British semi-skimmed milk, but you could use your normal skimmed milk, or you could use um, the whole whole milk. But I'm using uh, the British semi-skimmed milk. So I weigh that now, 50 grams. Uh, the the uh, the zero went off, so I'm gonna put that back. I tie it again. Because I need to be quick when you weigh your when you put a zero, you need to be quick to pop it right in there. So now I'll weigh I'm gonna weigh 50 grams of milk, which is what uh, 50 mils quickly. Yeah, I got 53, but I'll just take that one out. 51, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right, 50 grams of milk, that's 50 minutes of milk, I'll set that aside. I'll set that aside now. Um, I love scones, they're very nice. Uh, I need baking powder as well, because you want your scones or your scones to, to rise, you know, a little while in the oven. So you need to add baking powder. So I'll, I'm gonna grab my baking powder now. I just need one teaspoon of baking powder. Just a moment, please. Just a second, let me get one teaspoon of baking powder. So I'll grab my baking powder now. Yeah, I got my butter now, my, my baking powder now. Yeah, and don't forget, I'll be using lemon juice. So I got my lemon, you know. That's my lemon. So I'll be using this for, uh, uh, I need the lemon zest, the zest of lemon. Zest of lemon, I'm gonna get, grab my um, grater now, so I'm gonna put some zest of lemon right in there. And you know, sometimes when you go to the store, you don't see buttermilk, and you need buttermilk, isn't it? You need buttermilk, so it's easy to make a buttermilk. What do you need? What do you need buttermilk for? You go to the store and you start looking for buttermilk. You don't see it. You don't find buttermilk. Or it could be expensive when you find it. But you can make your own buttermilk. So we do that first to make our buttermilk because we need our lemon juice right into the milk, and we want it to to form the buttermilk. So we need to allow it to stand for at least 10 minutes. So while that is standing, we're doing other things and our buttermilk is ready, isn't it? So I'll make my buttermilk first. We need buttermilk, isn't it? I don't have buttermilk, so I'll be making buttermilk with milk and my lemon juice. So, uh, just, uh, let me get my lemon zest first out. Get my, uh, set outside. So now, uh, I got my sugar and my flour right in there. So I'm gonna add some lemon zest, zest of lemon, right into my uh, uh, flour. And lemon zest, just a little bit, a little bit of lemon zest. A little bit about half teaspoon or like a pinch of lemon zest, just a little bit. You don't want to put too much in. Just a little. That's all right. That's my lemon zest right in there. Now I'll set my lemon zest aside. Uh, set that aside. Now I'll grab my milk. Uh, I'll pop my lemon zest right into my milk. So I'm gonna cut that now. 
Yeah. Use your chopping board, please. Don't mind me. <laughs> I feel lazy to grab my chopping board. So now, I'll uh, use your chopping board, please. I'll put the lemon juice right in the classic. Put that in the bin. Don't need that. Take out the seeds. You don't want to put the seed in there, you Yeah, that's it. If you are using a small lemon, you can use uh, one lemon juice, but if you are using the big lemon, just cut in half. Half lemon juice, that's all right. So always keep your work surface clean. Now, I'm gonna use my spatula and set clay, uh, stir my uh, milk and lemon. I think I got one seed right in there. Yeah, I'm gonna. Two seeds, I'm gonna take them out. Uh, they're out now. Yeah, that's it. So we got lemon juice and milk right in there. Tastes very nice. So I'll set that aside and allow that to stand for for uh, ten minutes. So I'll get my timer now. So I'm gonna set that at 10 minutes. Uh, reset, maybe mistake. That's there, right? Start. So now, um, I will leave, this is my timer, so, I'm setting it for 10 minutes. So I'll let the um, milk and uh, lemon juice to stand for 10 minutes. Another 10 minutes, I'm going to have my buttermilk. So uh, I'll be right back. Just a second, please. Thank you. Yeah, I can see Rimi's recipe. Thanks for your chat. So, thanks for popping. You can visit our channel. Recipe. She got lots of uh, food there making. The food channel as well. Um, now, um, I'm right back. And um, I said, I'm making my buttermilk. And my buttermilk is uh, uh, made by me. I made it with um, lemon juice and milk. 
I don't need to buy butter and milk. I don't need to go to the store to get butter and milk. But I made mine with lemon juice and milk. Very easy. A lot to stand for 10 minutes. So I got my... Uh, I got my... Uh, timer here. It's 7 minutes now. So 6 minutes. So we got like 6 minutes more. Now, why that is going to be ready soon to be... So what I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to... Mix up my ingredient now. I got my uh, uh, flour and uh, uh, sugar. So uh, I will uh, take my spatula and I'll grab my uh, sea salt. So you know, if you notice, when I make my videos, <laughs> I always add sea salt to my videos. You know what I mean? Like, sea salt is natural, but this is, uh, we got the rock salt. I always use the rock salt as well. Rock, rocky salt, the rock one, very natural. And the rock salt and the sea salt, they are natural. But if you, uh, if you want to use the table salt, it's up to you. But the, the, the sea salt is natural. So I love using sea salt to make my bread, to make my pastries, to, to roast, to make Sunday rolls or whatever. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a pinch of salt right in there. Pinch of salt. I'll set it aside. So if you're just joining this live stream, this is Cook with Chef Francis. Live on youtube so i make live videos because uh, most of my viewers say that you're making live videos they want to see it live so so i said okay if you guys want me to be making live videos then i'll be doing that now and they are happy to, to watch it live on youtube so uh i got i got many viewers all over the world viewers from the us from the Netherlands, from the UK, from Nigeria, from the Philippines, from India, uh, name it, from Japan, you know, you know what I mean? Germany, Spain, around the world, Romania. So they watch my videos and they like it. So, uh, all around the world, they watch my videos, but my videos are interesting and real recipes. I don't lie. I give my recipes. You know, you don't need to go online to check my recipes. You get my recipes right here on YouTube. You know, I don't need to send it to a blog or to or my website or whatever to check my recipes. If you check my videos when I when I upload videos, you know, you just check the uh, the beginning of my videos, what you see is the recipe, isn't it? You get the recipes, and if you have a jota, you can even take a, a picture, a photo, and just take a snapshot. You know what I mean? Or you just write it down. These are real recipes. Do not change it, because if you change it, you're going to mess it up. Follow my recipes, real recipes, and you're going to get what you want straight away. Easy. Go for it. I will still tell you the recipes. I'm just like you know, making a recap of what I'm doing, but I'll still tell you everything you need, you know. So this is a live stream, and sometimes if you have poor internet, you could, like you, I, 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 I'm making a live stream now, but while, you, while I'm looking at my camera, it's very stable and very clear, you know, it's clear right here while I'm looking at my camera and doing the full vlog clear and stable but if the viewers are watching it you could be like maybe like a watermark or something of blood to them because they could be from the internet or something so don't don't worry about that but what you need to do is just to listen if you listen to me what i'm saying you're going to get it right and you can also sometimes i have to like you know you know like invert the bowl or something so you can see you know so if I tell you this is flour in there, you know, just taking notes, you know, making a dough and all that, you know, you really need a super fast internet, you know, to make to make it stable and 
so it doesn't shake. Yeah, but right now I'm making my food vlog is very stable and clear. But from the viewers, it could be a little bit, uh, you know what I mean. But it doesn't really matter. It's just just an internet connection or something. So yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, I got my flour and sugar right in here. Uh, I got my pinch of salt, which is my sea salt, added in here. So I'm gonna grab my spatula and give it a quick uh, stir. It's a quick one. You know, don't mind me. You don't. We, I'm not supposed to like sit in the kitchen bowl. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, you will stand in the kitchen as a chef, but that's really matter. I'm in my house. I can sit down if I want to. <laughs> <laughs> so now this is uh, the flour and flour, sugar, and a pinch of salt, you know, and uh, you know what I'm going to do now, you know, I, I always tell my viewers, you know, when you're making pastry, you know, sometimes like you're making cakes or whatever, if you have eggs, you know, most times egg goes with the sugar and you like, to, you know, blaze them together or mix or beat them together. When you beat your egg and your sugar together, you get a nice consistency, and you make you want to get you want to make you want to make it fluffy, isn't it? So that's for sugar and egg mixture or whatever. So, but for this one, I'm making I'm making a mixture that needs uh, uh, that needs butter. So, uh, because I got my flour, sugar, and butter right here, you know, it's I need to mix them up together. And again, you know what I mean, like dry ingredients. You need to mix dry ingredients together. That's one of the tricks in pastry. The dry ingredients, you mix them together. Now, um, uh, I got my salt, which is a dry ingredient. I got my uh, lemon zest, zest of lemon, which is dry. I got my flour, which is dry. So what next? I, I need to add my baking powder, which is dry as well. So just stay put, I'll see take the recipes again, and you write down the full recipes. Now, you see it's beeping. So I said at least 10 minutes. If this is beeping, that means our uh, but, uh, butter mix is ready, is it? So, I stop that. I set my timer aside. I don't need my timer for now. I set it aside. That's my timer. Set it aside. Yeah. I need to just set my timer aside now. I don't need it for now. Uh, um, uh, Next is my butter, straight into my bowl. You know, in this case, I will need to stand because I want to uh, scrub them and get a fine crumbs of the of, uh, flour mixture. So, uh, of course, uh, you want a fine flour mixture. So what do you need to do? We need to, we need to, you know, you know, scrub them with our two palms, and uh, but if you have uh, a stand mixer, you could use your stand mixer to do it. It's quick and easy, isn't it? You got your stand mixer, so why not use it? Quick and easy. But you know, here I always tell my viewers, this is a food vlog, yeah, yeah, it's a food vlog, and of course, it's a cooking class, the live stream cooking class. It's a live stream cooking channel and it's a live stream cooking video as well. So this is a live stream. And what I'm trying to do is to teach um, my viewers. You, you, you might know it, but you know, some don't know it though. I'm trying to teach them how to, you know, mix with your hands, when you mix with your hands. And um, this is the basic technique in um, catering or the culinary field. You mix with your hands, your butter and flour, you blend them together with your hands. And when they are ready, uh, you add the other ingredient that you need. So uh, I'll be doing that now uh, with the, uh, you know what I mean? Like mix my uh, flour and sugar together with my hand. So uh, I'll start now. So we got flour. I'll repeat myself again, a recap. What do we have right in my bowl? We have flour, 
125 grams of flour. Do you have your jota with you, please? Right. And if you are just joining this channel, this live stream, this is Cook with Chef Francis. Live on YouTube, making live streams every week. It could be three live streams, four live streams every week. Making it for real and passing a very good message. So, uh, as I said, uh, right in my flour, in my bowl, I have one to five grams of flour, 125 grams of flour, 125 grams of flour, right in my bowl. That's the plain white flour, the plain flour, one to five grams. I've repeated that like three or four times, or even five times, one to five grams of flour, right in my bowl. Next, I have my sugar, 25 grams of sugar, 25 grams of brown sugar right in my bowl. Well, hey, you can use 25 grams of white sugar, it doesn't matter. You can use any sugar you like, but I'm using all refined brown sugar on refined brown sugar that's what i'm using next my butter is 50 grams of unsalted butter so uh, i weighed 50 grams of unsalted butter I'm, I'm not using the margarine I'm not using margarine I'm using unsalted butter if you are using your salted butter then you don't need to add salt well go for good quality butter and not margarine so uh, if you see I'm using the British unsalted butter which is very good so it's right in there 50 grams so now I'm gonna blend everything together so let's get started and um, remember I added lemon zest I added like um, one teaspoon of grated lemon zest zest of lemon so I'm gonna I'm gonna mix them together I'm using a small bowl because what I'm making is a small quantity you know what I mean if I was making something very big I would have used a bigger bowl so small stuff small bowl small food small bowl big food big bowl isn't it so I'm gonna keep uh, mixing this and I want it to uh, blend together so now you see what I'm doing I'm blending it together Now, I'll clean my mess and uh, 
wash my hands. Yeah, I'm gonna wash my hand now. We need to stay clean. I always stay clean because um, when it comes to cooking, hygiene is very important. Good hygiene. My wash soap is always clean and uh, clean and nice and clean. Always nice and clean, and uh, you're gonna you're gonna get a healthy meal. I'm gonna dry my hand now. I dry my hands now. Uh, I have my. Uh, I got my uh, flour mixture right in here, so I made I made it well. I made it well at the middle, or we could we might not make it well now. So what what I'm gonna do? Uh, I could just pop in my raisins. I have a handful of raisins. You know, just pop that in, in there. You know, because we're making the blueberry, the blueberry scones. I'm not gonna add my blueberry now. I'll my blueberry at the end because I want the blueberry to like melt in there or like, you know, stay around and you could see it. You know what I mean? Like I was using my sugar for dosing, so I'll set it aside. What we don't need, I'm going to put them away. I don't need this. I'll put that away because I need space. I still need my ramekin to make my round shape. So I'll put that aside. And uh, I don't need my sea salt. So I'll put that right into my cupboard. I don't need that anymore. I'll put that away. I don't need my butter. So I'll put my butter straight in the fridge. I don't need my milk. I'll put my milk straight in the fridge. Yeah, I'll put that in the fridge. I think sugar we need. Uh, I think I need um, a sieve for my icing sugar. Uh, where's my sieve? Yeah, that's my sieve. I'll just say that I'll just leave that there for now. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using this. I don't need that one. I'll put that one back. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, uh, I need my baking powder. I don't need this straight to my cover. I still need my flour. I don't need my knife. I don't need my scale. Put that away. You know, when you're doing that, you like free your table, no mess. I still need my flour. I need that. Yeah, I need that. I don't need this one. Yeah. I clean my. I got the clean work surface now, very clean. Put that away. Yeah, let's get started now. Thank you for your patience and uh, thank you for tuning into uh, this um, live stream. Yeah, so this is very nice, this is very great. And uh, I'll start mixing now. We cannot wait to. To enjoy our blueberry scones, you know, here in the UK, the plain scones, the cheese scones, uh, eaten widely in the restaurant, especially for afternoon tea, for you know, with clotted cream, you know, cream tea, you know, when people order for cream tea, afternoon tea, you got your scones, your scones in there, with your berries. You know what I mean? Your berries, your scones, your uh, everything is there for your afternoon tea or your cream tea right here in the UK. It's it's lovely. Everyone loves scones.
scones when you go to restaurants. You see the order for cream tea, for afternoon tea, and the afternoon tea stand. You got your scones and your berries with your clover cream and your jam, your strawberry jam, precisely right there on the stand. For your cream tea, same thing. So they love it here in the UK. So if you if you know how to make your scones, then why go buy scones out there? When you know you can make your scones, uh, you know what I mean? Like, you can make your own right in your home, but if you go to the restaurant, then you can get your own scones, you know. But if you can make your own way, you go to the store, you don't really, to, really need to bother to buy scones in the store. But if you want to buy, no worries, you can buy. But if you have time to make yours, fine, why not make yours? So, of course, we all need to go to the restaurant, to the um, pubs, to the store to get whatever, like, I too, I go out there, you know, if you're a chef, you know, every time you need to, <laughs> to make something, but you go out there, you also need to buy, <laughs> sometimes when I go out there to the store, I can, I can get my scones, you know, donut and whatever, <laughs> you, you cannot see it because you always bake at home and, you know, you, you go out there, you don't want to buy, you, you, you still need to buy, isn't it, you need to buy and, uh, and just, uh, but if you can make your spine, no worries. So now uh, I'm gonna show you because you know when you eat scones, what do you what do you notice? You, you feel something milky. You know, I <laughs> I said something about shortbread at that time when I made a live stream on shortbread. You know, when I say you are eating shortbread, what makes it milky? It's the butter right in there that makes it milky. Well now if you check out the um, there was, there's no milk, but the butter contains milk. But on this one now. It's very milky because you got your butter milk in there and you got your shepherd butter. So it's more milky than even shortbread. So uh, it's it's really nice. Everyone loves scones. You know, scones are very nice. They're, they're very nice dessert. It's good for dessert. So now I'll start mixing now. You know, I'll start mixing my scones now. So basically, what I'm going to be doing now, I will. Um, add my baking powder because all the dry ingredients will be right in there so if you stay put right on this channel you're gonna get everything there's no rush stay put and i'll still give you the recipes you get a jota and you're gonna write everything you know what i mean like you don't want to miss anything so now i'm gonna add my baking powder right in there so uh, uh i got my teaspoon of baking powder so uh, baking powder, uh, one teaspoon. So uh, you don't want to put too much baking powder, isn't it? So I level that straight, one teaspoon straight into my flour mixture. Air tight. You don't want air to go in. I'll pull that back on the rack. Baking powder, dry ingredients. So now I'm gonna mix that up. This is really lovely. So I'll make it well at the middle. You can see that. And uh, Now, I want to give you a recap again because um, uh, this is a recap and more people are joining this live stream. So I need to give you a recap of what I'm doing. So uh, um, just a recap of what I'm doing. If you're just joining in, this is Kuku Chef Francis right here on YouTube, live on YouTube. This is a live stream. So we're making blueberry scones, blueberry scones and uh, Right in here, we have flour, 125 grams. Uh, uh, we got lemon zest, zest of lemon. Uh, uh, we got less zest, uh, zest of lemon, as I said, one teaspoon of zest of lemon. We got like a handful of, uh, of um, raisins or sultanas right in there. We got one teaspoon of baking powder right in there. We got, we got unsalted butter right in there. And we got um, 
Uh, what we left for is we we left with our butter milk. So I'm I'm gonna add my butter milk right in here. And my butter milk, what I need is a uh, uh, remember I said one lemon cut in half. You can use it if it's a large lemon, but if it's a baby one, you can use one for baby lemon. Cut it, put the juice in there, but make sure you have grated one lemon zest, zest of lemon right into this flour. Now I made a well at the middle, so I'm gonna add my butter milk. I'll show you. I'll come closer now. You can see the butter milk. That's it. You can see like the, the lemon of you know mix up with the milk and gives you the butter milk. So I'll pop that right in there. And you see that it looks very nice, isn't it? Nice recipe. So I'm gonna try that. It looks sour. That's why it's called the butter milk. It looks sour. I'll put that away, I don't need that. Now uh, I got my berries. I I bought these berries, I've enjoyed it a lot. So I got I got like a half left. So I'm gonna give it a quick wash. So I just need a handful of berries. I put my berries in there, blueberries. So that's my blueberries. Uh, now my blueberries is in there. You see, now we there's no rush in cooking. You see, everything is there. I only have my um, my icing sugar for dusting set aside. That's when it's fully baked. When it's baked. I can start using my adding sugar. And I have my flour here. I'll reason that to need. I got my timer to check. I got my ramekin to cut out my, um, my shortbread. So I got my spatula. Now I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna mix I'm gonna mix everything together. So let's get started. Thank you, my friend, for your patience for watching my channel live on YouTube. Live stream. This is my fifth live stream. You can check out my other live stream. I mean live stream. My first live stream was on cookies. My second live stream was on shortbread. Uh, my third live stream was uh, hot cross buns. Yeah, you know the last the one I made previously. Uh, I made five live stream now. So go check them out. They are very nice. Check out my playlist, check out my other videos, short, short videos, long ones and whatever. Just check them out, nice recipes, food all over the world, you know. I promise we're making cake decoration in, in, in the near future. So, uh, for those who love to make wedding cakes and uh, birthday cakes and all that, they could learn how to decorate wedding cakes and birthday cakes right here on YouTube. Cook with Chef Francis, cooking everything, cooking Jesus around the world. This is all over, all over the world, right here on YouTube. Stay tuned every day, keep watching every day. Now we're gonna mix this um, uh, scones, the mixture. We, what we need, you need to be careful when you need it. You, you don't want to make it too watery. You don't want to. You don't want to get cracked scones or whatever. You don't want to get something too very smooth. But you just want it a smooth ball, but not too, not, not cracked or not. You know what I mean, like medium smooth and I mix that up now. So, I mix that up my spatula. Can you see that? Can you see that? Now, I'm going to tell you guys something now, what you should notice. You see, you can see something, something going on, like, if you notice something, I'll tell you what I mean, like, see? I'll tell you what's going on now. I'll 
tell what's going on now. Uh, now I'm gonna tell you guys what's going on. If you check my uh, recipes, I used to say this. It's not. I'm not joking, and I'm, I'm not lying. I'm saying the truth, and this is what I'm saying. Like, I use real recipes. I don't lie. Real recipes, and you're gonna check my dough out. When I say I use real recipes, believe me, this is what I do. I don't lie, because real recipes are real recipes. You will check out my dough now. You will see my dough is perfectly fine. If I told you add 70 ml of butter, what would that happen? This is going to be watery and you start looking for flour. And when you start looking for flour, you will mess up the taste of your scones. And you know what I mean? Like the sugar depreciates, like it diminishes and you don't have the taste of sugar anymore. You don't have the taste of milk anymore. And you know what I mean? When, when you start adding too much flour on, 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 the, on the pastry, what's going on? Like, it's kind of like rocky, as if you're making a rocky, a rocky scone and, and something, you know what I mean? Like something tasteless. But I'm using real recipes. I don't lie. And that's why you see this recipe I'm using is perfect. And my dough came out perfectly fine. <laughs> and it's going to be milky. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be very tasty. It's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be sensational. It's not, it's not something like you, you, add, you start adding flour. You know, when you're a baker, you're, 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 you love baking and you're doing the right thing. You know what I mean? Like when you're doing something right, you're going to get the actual, you know, recipe and the actual food you want to make. Like it's going to be gorgeous, you know? So why not try my recipes? Now you see, you've seen for yourself that this is <laughs> real recipe. And that's why I'm getting a real scones dough. Not sticky, not watery, not hard, soft and non sticky. Soft and not hard, but perfectly fine. Of course, when I make these scones, you know what I mean? When you're eating these scones, it's going to be milky, isn't it? Milky scones. I love these scones. So my friends, I don't want to waste your time. You know, it's like, you know, you know I said it's a food vlog, isn't it? So it's a food vlog. So I don't need to be in a rush. I need to let my viewers know what I'm doing. And I'm, let, I'm saying everything from start to finish. No fast forwarding. This is not a video uploaded video where you fast forward and no one knows what it was going on and you don't know what someone is doing. Like, and you're wondering, like, you know, there are some times when you upload videos and people are making comments. They ask how, how many how many grams of sugar do you add in there? Because you know, when some people make upload videos, they even put recipes there and you don't know what's going on. You know, yeah, but I I, I don't do that. Like, I don't I don't tell you go to somewhere else to look for for, for recipes or whatever. I give you my recipes right when you come into my channel you see the recipes right on uh, on youtube on my channel you see the recipes right there you know you know what i mean and you follow my recipes and i always give explanations i tell you you know i do that so that you see what i'm doing and it comes out very well so now i'm making a food vlog and i'm giving a nice explanation <laughs> uh, this is uh, something special and you know what I mean? Like people love scones and scones are very nice. You ain't go to the restaurant, you know what I mean? They go for screen teas, they go for afternoon teas and all that. So scones are lovely. So I'm going to show you now how to make this lovely scones. This is my dough already. So what I need to do, I'm going to need gently, gently kneading, no rush. You know, my hand is mild, not very strong. Mild, gentle, gently on the work surface. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on my work surface and knead gently. If you check my last video, you will see I showed my viewers, my friends, how to knead gently. 
anymore. So I need gently and I do it properly fine. You get something good, something nice. You know, like like food are like babies. You want to take care of them. You, you don't you don't want to you don't want to mess them up. You know how how we take care of babies. So that's how we take care of food as well. As if you're making surgery on food. You know what I mean? Like gently, no rush, no no damages. You know, making everything nice and perfect. So now I'm gonna sprinkle a little flour on my work surface. A little bit of flour right on my work surface. That's it. Now I'm gonna show what I mean. Set that aside on the back. You see my dough? Can you see that? You can see the berries around it. You can see the scones. You can see. You see what I mean? Like, it's not watery. Just, it's not sticky. Like, just a little stickiness. But that is what we need because when you put the flour, it becomes very nice. You don't want it very strong. You don't want it very soft. Or you want something medium, moderate. You know what I mean? Like, moderate stuff. So, I can try it if I want to. It looks very nice. Tastes great. So, now I'll pop that aside. Put that for wash. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of flour again. Yeah, that's, that should be enough. So, I'm going to knead that now. I'm kneading that now. Gently knead. Can you see that? Gently knead. That's it. Can you see that? Can you see the berries all over? The berries look great, isn't it? Gently knead, no rush. Can you see that? <laughs> Can you see lovely scones? Gently knead. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, that's enough now. You see, so that's the scones. You don't, you don't, that's the blueberries. You don't want to damage the blueberries. Can you see all over how the blueberries are melting? So that's enough. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, I got my blueberries, very nice blueberries, all over. So I'm gonna sprinkle flour again. This flour is for rolling, to roll. For rolling, not for kneading. I'm done with kneading now. So that one is for rolling. So I'll just put that there. So I'll wash my hands again. Because I want to start again. So I'm going to wash my hands again. So I finish washing my hands. So I'm, I'm going to dry my hands now. Yeah. So uh, just a second, please. So I'm gonna grab my uh, my uh, rolling pin. So I have my rolling pin right here, and uh, I don't think I need this anymore. So I'm gonna set that aside. And um, I need this. I'm gonna grab my tray. Um, I got my baking tray. I set it aside. 
I need parchment paper, baking paper. I got my baking paper. Just, uh, just need a smaller quantity of baking paper. My baking paper, set it aside, put down back. So uh, I got my uh, baking paper now. I got my rolling pin, isn't it? This is my rolling pin. So I want to roll my lovely uh, um, pastry, my lovely dough. So I'm gonna roll this now. Uh, I used to say something before. If you are a chef, hmm? so I got someone else now. You see, there's a uh, Miriam. You know, saying nice my recipe. So uh, if if Marian have a channel, you can visit that channel. And I say the uh, remix recipe as well. You can visit that channel. The channel. I think remix recipe is a full channel, and Marian visit that channel. They also nice to my recipe, so they love my recipe. But you can visit that channel, watch the videos, support them as well. So uh, thank for your support, everyone. Now I'm gonna roll this now. So I'm gonna roll it. I'm making a special scones, lovely scones. I'm rolling, rolling that now. So I got, I got my work surface flour, and I got my rolling pin. So I'll take a little bit of flour right here and, uh, you know, grease my rolling pin. I don't want it to like be slippery when I'm rolling. So, uh, you know the. Um, the secret in making scones, you want your scones to like rise a little. So you need to roll out two centimeter thick. So I'm gonna grab my tape to roll out two centimeter thick. Uh, I got my tape. So this is my tape. Uh, I need two centimeters. So two centimeters should be should be that one. So the scones is gonna rise while in the oven because it got some baking powder. So I want it as tall as this. So uh, it means I'm not gonna roll too 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 low. So not too low. So I'll do it this way and I'll double check. Gently roll, please. Gently. Don't 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 roll too hard. Gently roll. Gently roll. Gently roll out. Don't press too hard because you're gonna miss the, the, the thickness. So now I got I got two centimeter. That's two centimeter thick. So you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna take a ramekin. That's my ramekin. So I'm gonna cut out my scones. Can you see that? That's two centimeters. It's gonna come up. It's gonna rise in the oven. So let me just set that aside. I'll put that on the on the tray when I'm ready. Just set that aside. Uh, let me see if I can get another one from here. Yeah, I think I believe I can get another one from there. Yeah, yeah, second one. I'll call it out. We're gonna make, I think, four scones. Same height, same thickness, same shape. Second one. So I'll be making another one. So what do I need to do? I cannot get another one from here. So I'm gonna knead again, gently knead. So uh, I'll gently knead. Can you see the blueberries over there? Very nice, isn't it? So now, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get one more from here and knead again. I need I need to make four scones, two centimeter thick. So I believe that's two centimeters. 
sorry, that's two centimeter, right? Yeah, that's two centimeter. So I'm gonna cut that one. Three. Now this is the last one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get one from this one. So I'm gonna mold them again. Can you see the blueberries? Very nice. It's gonna be very sweet. I can't wait to enjoy this. Lovely blueberry scones. Lovely. So I'll need again. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna roll again. I finish kneading just to make it smooth. Yeah, that's all right. So I'm gonna put that one straight on my rolling board and gently roll out. So I believe that's two centimeter thick. Yeah, that's two centimeter thick. So I believe I can cut one from here now. So yeah, I'm gonna cut that one now. See, very nice, three. So I'm gonna get a baby one now. So because she's the baby one, what I'm gonna do, uh, uh, you could use, if you don't have a ramekin, you could use, look for any round cutter, any small round cutter, you can buy one. Or if you don't have a ramekin or a cutter, you could also use a glass, a glass cup. So I'm gonna use my hand to mold this one because uh, I don't I don't have a cut anymore. So I just do it this way. That's it, my friends. I leave that one like that, just with my hands. Now I'm gonna preheat my oven quickly. So my oven is on now. So I'm creating my oven. So uh, I'm gonna quickly put that on the tray. Quickly. I got five of them. So now I'll quickly clean my work surface and put it straight in the oven. I don't need my ramekin. Or pot wash, put down there. I quickly clean my work surface. I don't need my tape, I put that away. So, um, I will show you guys. I'll bring um, I'll bring these scones closer for you to see because it might not be really clear when, you, when, when you're watching it. So uh, my work surface must be clean. I want it perfectly clean. Clean work surface, always work tidy, clean. Good hygiene. But if the work surface is dirty, the food will, be, will not be hygienically clean and it will be messed up. It's not going to be what you're expecting. But when you stay clean, the food becomes very nice. So. I always stay clean, clean work surface, clean station. So I'm done clean, I'm gonna wash my hand now. I'll dry my hands now. All right, my friends, thanks for your patience. Now I'm gonna tell you something now. You know, this is a food vlog, and um, thank you guys for your patience and staying put. So this is my, um, can you see that? I believe you can see. So that's my scones called, I said in American English, it's called scones. In British English, it's called scones. So you can say scones or scones. So this is the blueberry scones, but what's left, we need to glaze it up. You know, when you're making a pastry, you want it to shine. Like when you're making donut, glazed donut, you want it to shine. You want something shining and glossy, isn't it? So I'm making the, a very nice uh, scones. And you know what are the recipe in there? We got butter, milk, and whatever. But 
what am I going to use to make it shine? You know, normally, when in pastry, you want to make your, your pastry glossy or shiny, what do you do? You say that you take a pastry brush, dip into olive oil or veg oil. Sorry, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Or soft flour oil, you just glaze it up. Or you dip your brush into uh, egg wash. Your egg wash is just your beaten eggs, dip it into there and glaze it up. Or you could use your milk. You can do that for your bread, for your for most pastries, or whatever. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab, you could use your buttermilk if you want to. Well, I already use my buttermilk. I use everything. So what I'm gonna do, my oven is preheated now. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna grab my brush, my pastry brush, glaze my pastry brush. Sorry, take my pastry brush, dip into milk, and glaze it up straight in the oven. You know, I said initially, if you are in the um, restaurant, the oven is always on, the restaurant kitchen. You know, it's very busy. The oven is very on and like, <laughs> food is like uh, cooking all the time. So your oven is preheated already. So you just put your food straight in the oven. But here is not the restaurant. This is my home. This is just, you know, the kitchen I'm using the house. So what I'm going to do is like, when I'm ready, I'm going to on my oven. So now my oven is preheated. So uh, what I'm going to do next is to put this straight in the oven after glazing with milk. So stay put, don't be in a rush. This is Kuku Chef Francis live on YouTube. Live streams coming every day or every two days or whatever. Keep watching, keep watching every day. Stay put for my channel, for my videos, for my live streams. Now I'm going to glaze with milk. I'll be right back. I got my pastry brush. I got my pastry brush. Uh, milk. I'll go for it now. I got my milk. Uh, let me get a baby bowl or something. Yeah, I can use. I can use that one. So now I got my baby bowl. So I'm gonna put. Yeah, that one. That should be enough. Of course, you don't wanna. You don't wanna use evaporated, evaporated milk. You don't wanna use that. If 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 you if you if you don't wanna go for for the, the, the liquid milk, you could just use a, a powdered milk, mix it with water, and that's it. Of course, your scones goes well with this, not with the evaporated milk. So now I'll dip my brush right into the milk and glaze the top of my scones. Now, that's my scones. Yeah, I believe you guys can see it. My friends can see it. Yes, I'm happy. So I got five. Remember, this one looks perfect. This is a nice shape, like this one. Very nice. That one, that one, that one. But this one is, you know, the last one. So if I keep rolling, like it's gonna, it's gonna like get get very flat, and I'm not gonna get a very big scones. So that's why I have to use my hand to make a round ball and like, you know, just like make it perfect like the other ones. Well, the other ones, I use your ramekin to call them, isn't it? So now I'm going to glaze this, put this straight in the oven. Now, milk. A little bit of milk. Yes, moving around. Yes, pretty quickly. Love the scones. I love scones. They are really tasty and they look very nice. It's it's gonna double in size, you see. That's what I mean. Like 
two sets of mental teeth and it's going to grow tall. Yeah, nice one. Nice one. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm, I'm gonna put this straight in the oven. So you might not be able to see the oven because my oven is down here and I don't wanna move my camera. So I just wanna leave my camera the way it is. It's gonna be crazy if I move my camera. So now I'm gonna put it straight in the oven. Just now I'm putting in the oven, I'm using 180 degrees to in the oven so I put it straight in the oven and close my oven and so I'll give you like all right uh, that's a, on, a fan so now this is um on the fan and um, on 190, 190, 200 degrees. So now that's my tape. I set it aside. I don't need my flour anymore. So I'll put that away. I'll put my flour away. I'll put this away, my milk. All right, my friends, thanks for your patience. Now, I got my ID sugar, so, and I need this as well. So you see how I walk, I walk clean and I put everything away I don't need. And, you know, if I make it crowded, it's gonna be crazy, but I don't wanna make it crowded. So I got, this is what I need, you know, cooking is step by step. You don't rush, step by step, unless you're in a busy restaurant and you need to be quick. Of course, if you're in a busy restaurant, you already know your job, so you know what I mean. Like something to do every day, you know, and you keep you, you know it already, so you quickly do it and say, Well, I'm teaching my viewers how to make scones, so I don't need to be in a rush to mess things up. So I need to take my time, you know what I mean. So now I'm gonna put this for my timer for uh, let's give you 15 minutes and see what's going on. Like 15 minutes, 15 minutes, and So I'm gonna start. So after 15 minutes, I'm gonna check it and see if it's ready or not. But I believe after 15 minutes it should be ready, isn't it? It's gonna be ready. So now I'll skip that, set it aside. I don't need this one. Well, let me just keep it somewhere here. So now uh, I wanna say something now. Uh, I'm very happy for making today's video. Like it's very nice, and uh, I'm happy because I'm making blueberry scones. And uh, scones are eaten widely in the UK, yeah, especially in England. And we got um, apple tea, we got cream teas. So when you go to the restaurant and people order for cream teas, apple teas, they love scones. So your scones are always in there. And you can enjoy your scones when it's out from the oven. You can enjoy it with, uh, of course, you need to serve warm scones. You don't get some scones that is cold. You want it warm. Scones, scones are, are enjoyed when they're when they when they are warm. You're not eating bread or something. You're eating scones. So you want it warm. If it's warm, you're gonna enjoy it. So when you're in the restaurant and you're serving scones, you give, you give your customers warm scones and not not the cold ones yeah warm scones are very good so you know what i'm doing now uh, my scones will be out from the oven very soon and when it's out from the oven of course it's going to be warm and i'm going to sprinkle my sugar on it and serve it you can serve with strawberry jam if you want to or you can serve with the berries and toilet cream 
you know. So uh, I want to give you a recap. You know, if you are just joining this channel, uh, this is Cook with Chef Francis. Cook C double O K with W I T H Chef C H E F Francis F R A N C I S Cook with Chef Francis live on YouTube. This is a live stream. This is a food vlog. This is a cooking class. The live cooking class, live cooking videos, live cooking channel. So uh, I'm here basically to let my viewers know I'm doing the right recipes and you know making the right stuff and not lying or hiding my recipes. I'm giving out the real recipes for free and you know you can go out there to try your own whatever whatever I try in the kitchen or in our home or whatever. You're gonna get it right. You can make more, like I'm making a small quantity, I'm making just five scones, recipe for five scones, what I'm doing. And, um, uh, and it's going to come out very fine. So in, in, in a few minutes from now, I'm going to check my scones. In the next five minutes, I'll see what's going on. You know, it, should, it should have doubled in size. So I'll give you a recap of what I said earlier on and how I made my scones. You know, scones are very lovely to eat and everyone loves scones. So now, I said when I when, when I was in from the beginning, I greeted everyone and welcomed everyone all over the world. Um, those from the US, from the UK, from Romania, from Philippines, from uh, from India, and from Pakistan, from uh, from Netherlands, from Germany, from Spain, from Ireland, um, from Greece. You know, from uh, Africa, from Nigeria, from Canada, all over the world. You know, when I check my, when I check the YouTube studio, I check. You know, when you, when when you, when you when you're a YouTuber, you go check the countries that watch your videos. You, you're gonna see it there. So I found out that they watch my videos all over the world. Like I was wondering, like it's like I'm becoming popular on YouTube. Like everyone watching my video all over the world. From the UK, from the US, from Canada, from Netherlands, from Romania, from Philippines, from Nigeria, from you know, then there in many countries, from Spain, you know, they're watching my videos and they like it. You know, when they don't like your video, like you know, when you're making videos and when they click on it and they see, oh, this is a horrible video, people leave. But I found out that they don't leave. When they click on my videos, they stay and they watch it. That's good, isn't it? It's good, it's good news. So uh because I make quality content, you know, quality videos, and that's why they stay and they watch it and they like it. So I thank God for that. And I thank you guys who keep watching my videos and you keep supporting me every day. You know, I promise to keep making very good videos and good quality food, good quality dishes. There's still many things to learn here on YouTube on Coco Chef Francis. Be it pastries, starters, or whatever, making sauces, making uh, stocks, how to fillet fish, or whatever. I'll be doing all that right here on YouTube. So, so many things to learn here, you know. But th those who are aspiring chefs who want to become chefs in the future, or whatever, you know, stay put here on this channel. And I'll be doing all that and showing you, showing you the basic techniques of being a chef. And, basic cooking techniques and all that. Uh, being a chef is not really difficult. If you have passion, it's very something very easy to do, you know, to be and you know, if you're passionate then you, you're gonna get it right. Let me see what's going on in the, in the oven. Okay. Yeah, it's, 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 it's rising. The scones are rising. I don't want to move my camera like, you know, if I have the camera man around you, the camera you know this kitchen is very small not really big i don't want to be moving the camera but if i was in a massive kitchen you know what i mean like you know yeah the camera could be facing the oven as well but you know how the kitchen is being made so it's not really you know if the if the oven was behind me for example maybe it's a massive oven behind me <laughs> you could see the oven but i don't want to carry my 
my camera and like showing you what's going on in the oven. What you're gonna see what's going on now is uh, the, the the scones it's gonna start to rise. But I've made video, you know, if you watch my video now, I made scones. I made a scone, fruit scones. I think I showed my viewers in, 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 in how it's, it's growing. It's like a yeast growing, doubling size. You know what I mean? Like when 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 a pastry has baking powder right in there or yeast, it grows, isn't it? You know, we have different raising agents, chemical stuffs that you add in food to make it rise, like you know, you know what it works with flour. There's no flour, your baking powder and yeast is not gonna grow, it's not gonna work. So it needs flour to grow. So basically, when you when when you're making a pastry and you add uh baking powder, okay. Let me start with yeast. You know, yeast grows, 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 and dies. That's why sometimes when you're making bread, you need to proof your bread or your pizza for two or three times until the yeast dies. But if the yeast is still growing and it doesn't die, when you eat your bread or you use too much quantity of yeast and flour, when you eat it, you see that you start to smell yeast, yeast, yeast all there. For, for, for Christ's sake, why, why would I eat bread and it's smelling yeast all over? Does it make sense, isn't it? Or do not? When you meant to put one tablespoon of yeast in a in, in flour to make a donut and mistakenly one has a two tablespoons. What's going on? Like it's gonna be smelling yeast everywhere. So but I'm using the actual uh, you know recipe for my flour, for my yeast and whatever. So yeast you know is a fast method of making the, the dough to rise very well and grow very big and make your food grow massive and all that but baking powder is a different reason agent what it does is just to make it rise a little a little bit not too much makes it rise a little bit so baking powder is good for cakes for biscuits for scones for most pastries but but for your bread your pizza <laughs> you need your yeast so for this one you cannot use yeast the scones so i'm using baking powder you can use bicarbonate of soda, not, not, not on scones, but some recipes you could use bicarbonate of soda. That's the baking soda. So now, uh, you see, I use uh, two centimeters. I use, uh, what, what was the time now? We got five minutes more. Let me check what's going on. Yeah. I love what's going on. Massive result and good result really nice so uh and you need to be careful when you, when you want to put something in the oven you need to create the oven it's the oven when you put something in there for example this cake your cake is going to fall and die it's not going to grow so always make sure your oven is preheated it's warm when i say warm it's preheated and hot so when you put anything right in the oven it grows and cook very well and you know it's not good for a baker to be too inquisitive. You know, sometimes you need to have the oven with a glass, but if there's no oven with glass, you can see through your oven and see what's going on. But if you don't have a oven with glass, don't be too inquisitive to like open your oven, be in a rush. Always go by your timer. You don't have a timer, check your wristwatch or something. And make sure you know the actual time your food is ready. And of course, when you're cooking something and you perceive the aroma, you know it's ready, isn't it? But if your food is not ready, <laughs> you cannot perceive the aroma. So, but if it's ready, if it's something that is burnt, you will know it's burning, isn't it? But if it's nice, you know it's nice. It's not burning. So, uh, basically, what I did was to use baking powder. I added baking powder, not baking soda. So, one more time before I bring out my, uh, remove my scones from the oven, I'm going to show my viewers who are just joining me right here on YouTube how I made my blueberry scones. So uh, now I'm gonna tell you from scratch the recipes of how I my menus, blueberry scones. And before I end this video, I'm gonna show you as well. This is the two hours video. So I'm gonna show you. I will end in the next 20 minutes. So I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm gonna give you a recap again for those who be joining late. Because some people have worked now and it depends on where you are in the country in the world some people might be sleeping in the world now in some part of the world some are awake and all that so not everyone is ready to 
you know, to go to YouTube to watch videos. So I'm not be sleeping now. So, but if you're joining me now, this is Coco Chef Francis live on YouTube, and uh, I'm live here on YouTube making blueberry scones. And uh, uh, how did I make it? I have my recipes. I don't know if you have my recipes. I said it several times. This is what I do. I always do that several times to repeat my recipes to give you a recap because. Um, you know, when you just join me and you'll be wondering what's going on, like, well, what I'm making, but I need to tell you what I'm making, man. I'll be right back. Let me, you know, view my, um, my scones. Yeah, it should be ready. Yeah. Yeah. In two minutes, in two minutes, I'll take my scones out. So I told you 15 minutes, the actual time. It's going to be beeping. It's ready now. I'm going to grab the skewer so that when I put the skewer in there, I'm going to show you it's ready. That's my... That's my skewer. So I'm going to use this to try it. So let me just quickly check what's going on in the oven and see if it's ready there. Yeah? Because it's almost one minute. Bro. I don't want to get it burned, but I can perceive the aroma nice or not coming out from the oven. So you can see that. It's almost ready. So, uh, so uh, it's almost ready, and uh, I can see it's almost ready. And what I have in there is very nice. So, uh, I'm gonna explain again what I did before my food is ready. Uh, I'll share this again. The recipes for making these blueberry scones are. 125 grams of plain flour, the white one, 50 grams of unsalted butter, 50 grams of milk or 50 ml of milk, 25 grams of sugar. If you have a jetta, you can write it down. A pinch of sea salt, you can use a table salt if you want to. About 20 grams of sultanas, which is the raisins. And uh, get a jot and write down, please. And uh, a handful of blueberries and uh, some lemon zest, about one teaspoon. And lastly, baking powder, one teaspoon. What did I do? The dry ingredients, I mix them up, blend them with my butter. It's beeping now, so it's ready. But I've checked it 15 minutes. So I just want to give you one minute to, to finish up my recap. I'll put it one minute more and I'll take it out from the oven. My scones are ready. I'll give you one minute. So when I finish mixing up, I got a bowl of dough uh, and I sprinkle flour on my work surface. But remember, before I mix it up, what did I do? I added I made a buttermilk because you need buttermilk. So I made buttermilk with um, milk, 50 grams of milk or 50 ml of milk. Added my lemon juice right in there. That's one uh, lemon juice from one baby, baby lemon. You can use half or light lemon. I mix it up, allow the milk to stand for 10 minutes. So after that, I put it inside the mixer. I got a smooth ball of dough and I made it on the work surface. And after kneading, I rolled it on the f with flour, um, and I kneaded it with flour and sprinkle flour on the rolling pin and roll it out to two centimeter thick. I use my, yeah, that's ready. I'll take it out now. So I use, I'll switch up my oven now because it's ready. My oven, I'll switch it off. I'll take it out now. It's ready now. So uh, I added a, uh, I, I, I took uh, two centimeters. Uh, I took my tape. You know, I said, yeah, if you're a chef, you need a tape. You don't, you don't, uh, uh, chef's need tape. It's not only tailors that need tape. As a chef, you need a tape to measure. 
to weigh your ingredient or to measure or whatever. So now, uh, two centimeter thick, that's this height, this two centimeter thick. So I roll that two centimeter thick and I use a ramekin. I use a ramekin to cut it out and I got a round shape and I place it on the parchment paper, baking tray lined with parchment paper. Well, if you don't have a parchment paper or a baking paper, you could just put the flour on your baking tray and place the scone on it. You can rub, you can rub oil or butter on your baking tray and sprinkle flour on it so it doesn't stick and you put your, your scones, your scones on it. But um, what I did was to place it dry on the baking paper and I put it straight in the oven, preheated the oven, preheated the oven for um, about five minutes and put it straight in the oven for 15 minutes and my scones is ready. Maximum your scones should be ready from uh, maximum 16 minutes or 17 minutes scones are ready. Depends on how many you put in the oven though. But before putting the oven, what did I do? What did I do? I glaze it with milk and then put it straight in the oven. Now I'm gonna grab my scones out from the oven. I said easy two hours below. So I got like uh, 15 minutes more to end the video. So uh, I got my uh, I got my uh, icing sugar. Yeah, I got my icing sugar. I got my scones. That's ready. So. I want it warm. My oven is switched off, so I want it warm. I will eat it warm. So that's why I'm not in a rush. So I want to do the plating now. I want to plate my scones. So just a second, I'll be right back. Just a second. So I'll show you what I mean when you're plating your scones. I'll be right back. I'm back, my friends. You know, it's not easy to make a live stream. So, uh, you know, you know, I used to say this like when you, you know, movies could be made for so many years before the release and comes up perfectly fine, <laughs> or you make an upload video, you do it, and all that. But it's a live stream, and it's not easy. So now, because if you, are, if you are a fake chef, you're not a real chef, and you're doing a live stream, you can mess your food up using the name, you're showing the viewers <laughs> that you want to make scones, and every day you don't make scones, and you make something else. So, but, <laughs> but <laughs> this is real recipe, so I'm making a real scone, and not the fake one. So I'll cut my scones out now. <laughs> so that's my lovely scones. You can see the blueberry there. So I'll show you what's going on now. Uh, this is very hot. So uh, I guess stop with my oven. I see. That's a trap. Poking my. Uh, 
Now, you can see it has the shape of a scone. I'll come closer. See that? That is a... Look at the underneath. Nice and golden. Very hot. That's the... Uh, the blueberries. Can you see? That's the blueberries. And that's the... Uh, the raisins. And uh, look at the top. You see, it has the shape of its cones. If you take a photo and look how the British cones are, you see this is exactly what I'm talking about. Can you see? It looks really like a scone. Look at the blueberry of this one melting. Can you see? Nice and hot. Very hot. Lovely. Look at that one. Very hot. And this is what I want. Hot scones. You give them hot scones and not cold scones. Nice and golden on the underneath. Nice and round. Non sticky. Look at that one as well. Look at the blueberries over there. Can you see? Very nice, isn't it? And this is that one that is not really round. So I'm gonna try this one. So uh, I'll be taking a photo of this one, and I'll use it for my um, for my channel uh, image. Like you know what I mean, the thumbnail, the thumbnail of my channel. After taking a photo of this one, I'll use it for my thumbnail channel because this is why I actually cooked. So I'll use it for my thumbnail. <laughs> I'll be editing that very soon. So now I'm going to cut this for you to see. Don't serve, please do not serve scones that are cold to customers. Give them hot scones, they're very nice. So now I'm going to show you the blueberry right there. I'm going to try it. Can you see the steam from the uh, scones? And you can see it's nice and soft, it's not hard. And it's very hot. So I'm gonna try it now. You should be bearish. I love the bearish in there. Let's see. Now I'm gonna tell you what I felt in there. I felt the berries melting in the scones. I felt the scones, you know, it's milky. And I noticed as well, the sultan has the raisins in there, very nice one. And I noticed it's very soft. And I noticed something again, less sugar. You know, and I told you I was using the unrefined brown sugar. So it tastes very nice and this is very good for dessert or you could use it for breakfast with a cup of tea or any cup of drink or with coffee or whatever. This is really lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. Please go try yours. Very nice. This is a lovely scones. Very nice. I'm going to try again. You know what? Please, after watching this, just go try yours because this is very nice. Follow my recipe. So I'm gonna end this now by sprinkling icing sugar on the scones. Of course, when you go to the restaurant, what do they do? You sprinkle icing sugar on scones and serve to the customers. And you can use ramekin. We're gonna end our vlog in five minutes, two hours vlog. So 
you can grab some ramekins like ramekins for your afternoon tea or whatever. On one ramekin, you can put your berries. On the other ramekin, you can put your strawberry jam. On the other ramekin, you can put your clotted cream or whatever. And inside is you put the scones by the side and you serve and enjoy yourself. So now, of course, don't forget your highly sugar. It's very nice. It goes very, very with highly sugar. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put some ID sugar. You know your ID sugar also is a cane sugar, is a confectioner sugar. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put some ID sugar. You know, just a little bit. Wow, look at that. Looks lovely, isn't it? Lovely. Nice one. Nice one. Lovely scones. I'm going to try it again with the adding sugar before I say bye bye. Before I say bye bye to my viewers. Ciao. Before I say ciao. You say ciao in Italy, isn't it? The Italians will say ciao. Ciao. So, uh, let me put that away. So now I'm gonna try it with the adding sugar. Adding sugar right on my scones. That's it, my friends. Can you see the adding sugar? Lovely. Can you see that? Great, great scones. Lovely, please try yours. Can you see clearly? I have to bring it close because. You might not be able to see it clearly because of the internet connection or whatever. But here I'm seeing it very clearly because I'm making the live video. So <laughs> it's clear when I'm looking at it. But when the viewers are looking, it might not be clear to them. It could be like a watermark or something. Maybe poor internet connection or whatever. So no worries about that. So um, that's uh, my scones. So I'm going to try it again with the iron sugar on it. It's warm, so enjoy when it's warm. Before I eat it, I'm gonna put it straight in the oven. I'm gonna eat this with my wife. So I'll put it straight in the oven to warm again. So now the oven is already warm, so I'll just put it there. The remaining heat there will just warm it up and make it nice and warm before eating and enjoy with a nice drink. It's getting, it's not really cold today, but it's winter time anyway. And because it's raining, it's not really cold. So now, we, I'll keep this now. And uh, I'll be ending the vlog in the next two minutes. So, I want to say thank you for staying put to watch my video from start to finish my live stream from start to finish so i'll be summarizing the recipes again on the method of how i made this wonderful uh blueberry scones and if i say bye bye i will say this to my viewers thank you very much for watching Please go to my home page. You can check so many videos I've made, nice videos, nice upload, short videos, long videos, live streams, or whatever. This is my fifth live stream. And on this one, I made the blueberry scones. Uh, for the other live streams, I made cookies, I made uh, shortbread using the whole flour and the normal white flour. I made uh, cookies, shortbread. I made olive bread. I, I, I made I made uh, I made wheat bread. You know, and I made hot cross buns. You know what I mean? Like the last video was on hot cross buns, and hot cross buns is eaten in uh, during um, the, <laughs> the 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 Lent season. You know, like 
it's a symbol of cross. You know, they've got hot cross bones. You can check that one out as well. I made that one. They check it out and watch it. It's very nice. You know, yeah, in the UK, when you go to the store, you get the hot cross bones. And today I made something very nice. What many people like scones everywhere you go, scones, scones, scones. Like you're eating donut or whatever. So, so keep watching this video every day. Keep watching my channel every day. And stay tuned for more videos, more uploads, more live streams. And uh, um, you can give a like. You can leave your comment. And uh, I'll see you guys. My next live stream, I'll be making a live stream tomorrow, same time, around 1 p.m. Today I started at 1.20, so stay for my next live stream. I'm not sure what I want to make, but, but believe me, tomorrow is going to be a nice, nice one. So I'm going to be making a nice live stream tomorrow. So just stay put. So uh, keep watching every day. And... I'm going to say the recipe again one more time for those who are joining. How did I make my lovelies blueberry scones? I'll finish up with the recipe now and say bye bye. Recipes 125 grams of plain flour. That's number one. Two, sugar 25 grams. Brown sugar or white sugar, whatever. Milk and uh, make 50 grams, mix with your lemon juice, about 3 tablespoons of lemon juice or 2 tablespoons of lemon juice, from one lemon or half lemon. Use that to make your buttermilk, set it aside for 10 minutes. In your flour and sugar, add lemon zest, about 1 teaspoon. Add a pinch of sea salt, or if you use a tablespoon if you want to, table salt or sea salt, and also add your um, your berries, your blueberries, and sultanas, baking powder, one teaspoon of baking powder. Add your buttermilk that I've stand for, one, for ten, at least 10 minutes. Add it straight into the flour mixture. Keep mixing and you're going to get a ball of dough. Not sticky dough, not, not something sticky. Like A little bit sticky, but it's not watery, it's not sticky. Like, just take it out, put on the flour wax service. Sorry, flour work surface, knead it with a little flour, take a rolling pin, flour rolling pin, roll it out to 270. I use my, my uh, what do you call it, my tape. I said chefs use tape, not only uh, tailors and other. And roll it on the work surface, flour the rolling pin, and uh, take uh, the ramekin. I use the ramekin. You could use a round cutter or whatever you like, but I use a ramekin and I cut it round to some that tip. Place it on the tray and I put it straight in the oven and I bake in the pre oven for about, for at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 180 degrees centigrade, for 15 to 16 minutes. And when I brought it out from the oven, I glaze with um, icing sugar. Sorry, I uh, sprinkle with icing sugar, and that's it. Scones are ready. But remember what I said: I glaze it up with milk when I put it straight in the oven, and when it's half in the oven, I sprinkle with icing sugar. So this is how I made my lovely scones. So thank you very much, my friends, my viewers from all over the world. I'm very grateful. It's really highly appreciated to be here with you guys live on YouTube. Streaming live on my channel, Coco Chef Francis. I remain Francis by name and I remain a chef. So uh, I cook every day and I love cooking. So it's my passion. So it's what I love to do every day. So stay put, keep watching every day. Keep watching. Thank you very, thank you very much. Ciao. Bye bye. I'm gonna end the live stream now. See you tomorrow for my next live stream. Bye bye.